Hey everyone, Marshall here. Hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a product interface in Wix Studio using the dynamic content. Um, the reason why we are doing this is to save the uh, loading time of our website. Um, you can also go here and add the store elements like this grid product gallery, but these uh, elements here although they are useful but uh, they slows down the website speed so these widgets are good for your store page but for the home page i won't recommend using these so what we're going to do is we will use the uh, dynamic content and save the loading time of our website so without further delay let's get started so first you have to enable the code uh, option here and what it's going to do is if you are uh, creating a website and you don't have this option here, the input, it will appear after uh, you start the code. Um, so we're going to use this in future, uh, in, the, in a few minutes when we will create the uh, filter for our products. But you will get a bunch of options here. Along with that, you will uh, also get some uh, product CMS so we can use them as well. So you don't need to uh, know any code. You know, we just want to uh, enable the code uh, to get more options. So go to add elements, go to layout tools and repeaters. Okay, so we're going to use the repeater for our dynamic content. Go here, select this. Um, add your titles, descriptions, etc. here and leave some space for a uh, drop down for your uh, filter so go here and stretch it like this these container basically whenever you add any element let's say uh, let's add an image here it will be added in all the uh, items here so we're going to use this for the dynamic content so add an image like this okay now click on this image and click on this option connect to CMS okay and it will open a data set here now go and select the uh, store product data set if you do not uh, have this data set in the beginning simply go here add a data set and you will get all the uh, present data set in your uh, website so we have all the store data set here so simply click on this one for the products um, so select the store product data set connect the image source to uh, main media and it is gonna add the images of your products okay and connect the alternative text to name for your image seo and the link connects to the uh, product page url so if someone clicks on this image they will be uh, taken to the product page okay so this was the image now we need a product title quick add title here stretch it like this add a text Let's use an H3 and 25 font size. Okay. Um, for text, select the uh, wrap here. I think it's going to be good for the responsive website. And finally, connect this to your product title okay so it's going to show the title of your uh, product here uh, the next thing we're going to show is the price of this product so to do that first let's add a paragraph quick add paragraph and name it um, price
let's make this uh, text bold okay now select this press ctrl D for duplicate and add discounted price All right, so these are not the dynamic elements. Uh, these are just to show the title. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is um, add another, let's duplicate it again. Okay, and now let's connect this text, which is gonna show our pricing of the product. So text connect to formatted price. So it's gonna show the price of your product. Uh, we have two options here. We have the formatted price and just the price. So if you select the price, you won't get the currency of your uh, product, okay? So uh, choose the formatted price for this one. And after that, simply duplicate it, Control D. And do the same here in the discount price. Okay, so if you have any discounted price, it will be shown here. If you don't have the discount, it will show just the regular price. All right, so once you are done with this, let's add a button. And change the text. Add to cart. Okay, now link this to add to cart option here and there we go this is the uh, basic option for uh, your products okay now you can add as many elements as you want and connect them to various options in the here uh, let's see what it looks like on the live website publish it okay so we have all the products here now one thing uh, the reason why we were doing it as I said earlier was to uh, get the best website loading speed so let's see how fast our website are at the moment right so as you can see we have the 70 speed on mobile and on desktop it is 89 we're gonna increase the speed further don't worry about it uh, we're gonna take it to uh, 97 with some optimization okay so this is the dynamic content now main problem here is that we don't want to show all the products of this store on this page okay right now uh, you can see all the products here we want to show certain collection or a filter where people can select their own collections so to do that you have to go here and go to input go to drop downs and select the drop down of your choice so I'm gonna select this one for example and drag it here okay now connect this to CMS go to filter connect now you have to create another data set if you don't have here I already have that if you don't go to add a data set go to create uh, choose a collection and select this one here under stores we have the collection so choose this one I already have that go here store collections data set filter content by name okay now 
in here go to settings and name it collection now publish your website and let's see what it looks like okay so you have the collection name here so you can go ahead and select the name of your collection all the uh, products you have okay so if you select all products you will see all products if you select men you will um, only see the man product I'm um, sorry I clicked on this and also as I said before you can click on this image here and go to your product or you can simply add to cart right here okay so this is a really cool feature you don't need to add widgets and it will seriously increase your website speed um, so let's see what our uh, website speed is at the moment by the way uh, we haven't optimized the website for the mobile yet for this uh, dynamic content so we have the 74 without optimization on mobile and on desktop as i said before we now have 96 so this dynamic content is really good for uh, website speed score so um, your website is going to load faster as you can uh, already see here um, you can further optimize your website speed by going to the uh, data set setting and choosing not this one this option page after the page loads you can do the same for product and what it does is that it loads the images um, after your uh, data all the data of your web page has been loaded so it's a really cool feature you can call it a lazy load so yeah this is how you create the dynamic content and add products in your website um, you can do a lot of things here uh, you can add so many content just go here you have so many options to choose from you can show your date your description you know you can uh, show the ribbon you know the ribbon is if you have the cells in everything you can create a simple text here and show your uh, ribbon as well um, if you are selling some uh, something that is that has price per unit for example uh, let's say you are selling sugar or anything else online you can also add price per unit um, you can show the stock you can so uh, show the quantity you know you can also show the variation like if you have uh, different colors for your t-shirt or different sizes you can show whether your product is digital or physical you know you can also show your uh, you know the links the slug you can show the weight then you have all these elements here as well so yes uh, you can also show the brand by the way if you are selling some branded things you have a marketplace you can also show the uh, brand so there's a lot of things you can do but this is the basic idea you can just add the content create a filter and get along with it and get the maximum speed for your website 96 for mobile uh, desktop 74 for mobile um, but make sure to optimize your uh, mobile uh, visual as well make sure to resize everything and you are good to go so yeah that's it for this video i hope you learned something see you around